To enter a tillage operation, go to the Inputs tab and select the machines that were used. In my case, I used my John Deere tractor and my cultivator, as well as a person. Now, any of these inputs is completely optional. So if I did not want to track a, a person in my field operation, um, I don't have to. It is really up to you how detailed of, uh, of records you want in your software. But in my example, I'm going all out here and uh, selecting all my machines and all my people that were used in this tillage operation. Uh, down below, there's a button called Apply to Fields, which if I click on that, um, this is where you will be able to select all the fields that were used in that farming operation. Uh, another way, if I hit Cancel, is to use the map in front of you. So if I hit my Field 1, hold down my control button and multi-select field three, field four. So I've got my three fields selected. Uh, I can then right click and choose apply working group to, to be completed. And so then this, uh, this farming window appears. So for each one of my fields, you'll see a column for each. And then there'll be a fourth column here, uh, which would be my total. So I'll start from the top here and choose my crop enterprise, which in this example, I had uh, full intentions of planting corn this, this coming year. So I will choose corn, uh, set this up for the first time, hit the OK button, and then from a drop down list will be 2017 corn. Uh, job type, in this example, it defaulted to, uh, to tillage, which is correct. Uh, the date range, I can choose um, basically today's date, or I can uh, scroll this field here to uh, April 3rd. Um, completely optional here, how detailed you want to be. Uh, the job hours, uh, I will select, uh, um, we'll say about 15 hours total for all three fields. And what will happen here, if you see down below, uh, it will do its best to uh, to calculate the number of hours for each one of my fields. And so what it simply did here was uh, based on the size of each field, it tried to uh, correctly enter the number of hours for each. Um, but all this information you can change however you want. Um, so if I want to do it this way, um, you can go ahead and edit anything here you want to. When you get down to the tractor itself, uh, it's based on the hours and the burn rate, which was previously set up on another screen when I set up the tractor. But uh, I had a burn rate uh, uh, of so many gallons per hour. And so it did its best to calculate how many gallons total I used on all three fields. Again, you can simply change these numbers uh, to reflect what actually happened. Uh, down below here, my field and weather information, I'll keep blank. Uh, this is uh, really not important to me uh, for this operation, so I'll just hit the OK button to record it. And by hitting the OK button, um, we can actually go back to uh, the last job view here and, and pull up 2017. And what you'll see here is a, uh, a yellow color. And so basically we are setting up these three fields for, for corn which we've got yellow representing corn. So it changed the color of the field for us automatically. Uh, most importantly, if we go to the jobs tab, um, we can go to our field list then and select these, these uh, individual fields, which in this case, I have field number one here. And uh, right here is this field uh, tillage operation that we just did a few seconds ago. And if we wish to, uh, let's say, do any kind of edits to it, if we made mistakes, we can just go to properties. Uh, that will pull up the farming window again where we can make edits to the operation. Uh, we can also click on that uh, job and go to uh, print. And what it will try to do for us here is print a job report for that field. This will show us labor, equipment, and supplies used on the job, as well as the total cost.